Hey guys, welcome to Zola Blocks. In this block tutorial, we will show you how to create awesome social links in Gutenberg Editor using Zolo Blocks. Let's go. First, let's insert a container block inside the editor, select a single column layout, and customize the padding to define our content area. Then click inside the blank container and tap on the social links block to insert it. You can also type the block name in the search field and find it instantly. As soon as it lands on the page, you will see the default appearance of the block, showing four social links with brand colors, icons, texts, and hover effects. From the options on your right, you can switch between three preset styles for the social links. One is the default, then there's an icon only and a hoverbox filler animation type. The type option below also lets you remove icons or text, as well as keep both on the screen. Next, inside the layout section, you can switch between flex and grid layout types. For the grid, you can define the number of columns and adjust the gaps in between. However, the flex layout type will auto-adjust the links based on content length, but both layouts are dynamic. You can also unlink the gap option and edit row and column gaps separately. At the last section, you can customize the social profiles, add them, change them, or delete them, easy peasy. Each profile item lets you modify the title, icon, and link of the social profile. For the link, you can also choose to open in a new tab from the link settings. All these changes happened in the basic tab. And now, Let's move on to the Style tab and customize the appearance of the social links. The first option is Typography. Here, you can customize the font style by changing the font family, style, transform, spacing, height, etc. Feel free to take your time with these options. After that, you can adjust the gap between icons and titles. Also, you can adjust the border radius for the social link boxes to get a suitable curve around the edges. And then you have padding adjustments, just the thing you need for content area adjustments. Lastly, there are two color options. If you select original color type, the link backgrounds will retain brand colors, but you can also go for custom colors for the icons and backgrounds. That also works for hover mode as well. If you are done, just save the changes and your social links are ready to be deployed on the landing page. For more design inspiration, we kept a bunch of ready patterns for the social links block. Feel free to enjoy them. That's all for this video. Thanks for staying with Zolo Blocks. Please like and subscribe to this video and stay updated for more block tutorials. See you soon.